On this day, 40 years ago, a group of part-time players achieved the unthinkable, qualifying for the 1974 World Cup. And in tonight's special feature, we take a look at the day Australian football changed forever. In his direction, headed to Rooney, a shot coming in. Before Aloisi, Schwarzer and Hiddink, there was Alston, Mackay and Rasic. I'm sure a lot of young people who fell in love with the game fell in love with it at that time because of their feats and I guess it's important we always recognise where we've come from. In 1973, a group of semi-professionals made Australian sporting history. And I never ever dealt with uh, better quality people and we are family till today. We would virtually die for each other, you know. There was no enemies anywhere. Everybody loved each other. They used to play games all the time. And Following a hard-fought qualification campaign, Jimmy Mackay's goal in the playoff replay against South Korea in Hong Kong sent the Socceroos to their first World Cup. This hair here was black and in 15 minutes became white. <laughs> I know Rally says he, he was probably quiet and waiting for the final whistle. We knew. As soon as that ball went in, we knew all the players. We knew then there's nobody going to take it off us now. That feat wouldn't be repeated for another 32 years. And it was achieved at a time when the tournament had only half the entrance it does now. To qualify for that, you're essentially, uh, by definition, one of the 16 best nations on earth. That was a major achievement for Australia, which was not a football country and it was a part-time football country. That team also broke ground by including Harry Williams, the first Indigenous player to ever take part at the World Cup. While the 2005 qualifier may be easier for fans to recall, the spirit of the 74 Socceroos will never be forgotten. Forget your teammates, your clubs, the money. This is it now. That's the only thing that counts, the green and gold shirt, believe me. The team will travel to Hong Kong to remember that game and honour those who are no longer here. Johnny Warren, Ivo Rudic, and the goal scorer on that historic day. Vito Subral, World News Australia. Okay, the Socceroos have met the 1973 national team on the 40th anniversary of our first World Cup qualification. The 73 team will commemorate the feat of travelling back to Hong Kong, where the late Jimmy Mackay sent the country through with victory over Korea. They're legends of the sport in Australia, and the significance of their meeting with the current squad was not lost on young or old. They were a team of tradesmen, teachers and milkmen, coached by a Yugoslavian orphan. Jim was our hero, and that's what soccer means. We are history, we are proud of every achievement, and I do not apologise for a tear. Jimmy Mackay's wondrous strike that sealed the 1-0 win over Korea, an immortalised image. A shot coming in. Oh, goal. It's scorer, boyhood hero of our current coach. That goal um, through a grainy black, black and white vision, um, you know, pretty much uh, raised the nation because um, it was incredible. And then, as I said, I was privileged enough on the back of that goal to watch him live. The man who scored the goal that saw Australia qualify this time around for its fourth World Cup, humbled by the experience. Uh, we want to help football in Australia become number one and, and leave a legacy just like they, these guys have and, and hopefully we can bring the game to the best in Australia. Kennedy's 1973 equivalent, Adrian Alston, summing up the task ahead of Brazil 2014 perfectly. Forget your teammates, your clubs, the money. This is it now. That's the only thing that counts, the green and gold shirt, believe me. It's just wonderful, you know, to have this and, and then all the stories start to come out and, and the memories flood back. It's, it's, it's wonderful, yeah. The trip to Hong Kong, where qualification to West Germany was sealed, sure to be an emotional one. When the final whistle went, you got no idea, you know. I mean, what we have sacrificed for it, but it was worth it. And these young men will find out it is worth it. In 74, in a group featuring both East and West Germany, the Socceroos were written off before the tournament. This time around, they say, do that at your peril. You know, most of the world knows who we are and, and what we're about, and, and they definitely shouldn't uh, write us off, that's for sure. I take it with great pride and, and understanding responsibility, but what a fantastic opportunity for myself and for this group of players to create our own history. The meeting of a different generation, one both sides will take plenty out of. Actually, the good thing about this now, my grandkids will actually believe that I was an international. Richard Bayless, Fox Sports News.